Let's talk HDR, uh, specifically the Windows 11 HDR screen calibration. We'll go through it and I'll show you how to do that. The reason for this, and the reason I wanna make a video on this, uh, a lot of monitors and TVs, when you get them out of box, connect your Windows 11 desktop, laptop, whatever to them, will actually misreport the HDR, specifically the peak brightness value, which means if you're gonna use auto HDR to play uh, to maybe play a game that doesn't natively support HDR, you're not going to get the full range that your screen allows. Let's jump to my desktop and I'll show you how to calibrate it. Here we are on my desktop. Let's go through and calibrate our HDR display. Now, first thing we're going to do is minimize OBS because I do not need to see myself anymore. Let's open up the settings app and we're going to open up system on the left and then we're going to click display. Now you can see for me, use HDR is already turned on because I'm already in HDR mode. I'll show you what the problem is we're trying to fix. If we come down to advanced display down here, you can see in this screen, a bunch of information about my monitor, 10 bit color, high dynamic range, correct resolution, correct uh, refresh rate. The problem is peak brightness. Peak brightness here is listed as 400 nits. Now the screen I'm on can do a thousand nits peak brightness. So I know that that is wrong. We need to fix that. If we don't fix that, then auto HDR is not gonna calibrate correctly. So, or sorry, it's not gonna use the full potential of your monitor. It's probably a better way for me to word that. Let's click display. Now, we need to open up the Windows HDR calibration app. Now you can click use HDR here and there will be, as long as you got HDR turned on, there will be a HDR calibration option here. If you click that, it'll open up a website for you where you can download the calibration app. The other option is just opening up the Microsoft Store and searching HDR in here, pressing enter, and you'll be able to see it this way as well, where you can just install it from there. So I already have it installed, so I'm going to open my start menu, search HDR, and open the calibration app up. So now we've got the app. Let's click Get Started. So minimum lumens, this is the first setting that we have to tell it that we, what our levels should be. So for me, I'm on an OLED panel. I'm gonna drag this to the darkest. OLEDs do perfect blacks. I know that I can drag that to the, dark, the darkest. If I bump it up a little bit, I can still see this pattern. It may not come across on YouTube, but I can still see the pattern. So I'm gonna drag and make it the darkest. I'm gonna click next. Now for maximum lumens, this is the one that controls the peak brightness setting that was incorrectly reporting as 400. If I set that to 400 here, you can see, I can still see that pattern and I need to do it until it disappears. So for me at around a thousand nits is where it starts to get hard for me to see the pattern naked out. So I'm gonna set mine to a thousand. Click next, max full frame lumens. This determines how bright your display can be, same thing. This will differ depending on your monitor settings or your TV settings, but for me on this test, it's also a thousand, so I'm just gonna set it to a thousand and click next. Saturation, this one's entirely personal preference. This doesn't, you don't have to worry about the specs of your screen. This one's just what looks good to you or what kind of content you plan to, to do, what kind of games you play, that kind of stuff. For me, if you don't know, just set it to 50. 50 is a, a pretty good base for this. So I'm just gonna set it to 50 and click next. Now you get to name your profile. I'm gonna call mine uh, test underscore main and I'm gonna click finish. Yep, successfully created, awesome. Close down the HDR calibration app. Now, if I go click back to display, you'll see that there's a new option here called color profile, and it is set to the profile I just created. I know that because it's called test underscore main. However, if I click advanced display, you can see it's still saying my peak brightness is 400 nits. That's just because I need to close down my settings app, reopen my settings app, back into system, back into display, back into advanced display, and boom, there you have it. I'm now set correctly at a thousand nits peak brightness. So if I go back to display now and click on use HDR and I've still got auto HDR enabled, but if I run a game now, it should use the full range of my monitor's HDR compatibility. One more thing I completely forgot to mention, uh, color profiles. We created one called test underscore main, but what happens when you have multiple profiles and you wanna remove one? To do this, you just open up your start menu and just type in color. You'll see color management come up. Just open color management 
And here you will see your profile. For me, test main is showing up. I could just remove it from here if I like. Um, if you use more than one HDR display, you can change what display up the top is listed here to remove that display specific color profile. Well, that's it. So hopefully uh, you learned something new. Go calibrate your screen if you haven't already, if you're using a HDR panel. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, enjoy your weekend. Even if you do have a question, still enjoy your weekend, obviously. Um, until next time, see ya.